oh, yeah. process all that water that he was obviously using to rehydrate. Sure. And uh, now turn around in less than 24 hours and well, have to go, fight another, another trained pro professional fighter. Of the evening, brought to you once again by Ambition Nutrition. Also, top shelf medicinals. We also want to say thank you to the Coffee Cup and Moe's Tires for sponsoring tonight's event. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's get loud, let's get rowdy. One more time, and let's introduce your fighters. Fighting first out of the Alfred Medals Red Corner. He's a Muay Thai fighter, 5 foot 10 inches tall, 136 pounds. He represents John's Jim. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of Austin, Texas, make the noise for Brandon Skinny Little. And his opponent, fighting out of the extreme, work and play blue corner. Five foot, 10 inches tall, weighs in at 138 pounds, with a record of three wins, three losses, represents family combat. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of Fort Smith, Arkansas, make the noise for Colton Hale. You see, Brandon Little here, he has these, uh, he's a taller, very thin for the weight class kind of guy. Mm. Um, and uh, Colton Ham is a little thicker. Colton Ham immediately rushes and kind of forces the action. I find it curious they're both listed at 5'10. <laughs> I, don't, I don't find Colton Ham to be 5'10. What about you? I'd like to see Colton Ham settle down. You see his chin goes straight up when he leans back. And he comes in with a good takedown, but man. The Austin, Texas kid coming in with a solid guard. I mean, he immediately pulled him right back there and, and settled in that position. He, Colton Ham has to be dangerous. It, he, that's dangerous reaching back for that five that way. Colton Ham in the uh, white Valley Tudo. Valley Tudo shorts on top. Little uh, in the black and silver shorts. You see a nice elbow landed there by Colton Ham. You see Colton kind of really just content with sitting in the guard. He's not, you know, the, the, the guard was oh, open, and, and nice. that's how he ended up getting swept. Nice elevator sweep. Brandon Little said, if you're going to sit there, watch what I do. And he swept him and then stood him straight up. That was a nice elevator sweep. Beautiful head kick followed by a one-two. And Brandon Little, he's starting to land. He's, he's finding that range, and he's just sticking those hands out there. And, and Colton Ham's fighting with his mouth open. I just seen him stick his tongue out there. Did you see the little switch stances? He's now in southpaw. He was orthodox. Colton Ham and landed a couple low calf kicks, which is uh, something that's becoming more and more common. Uh, the, the bone on the outside of the leg, the fibula, is, is much smaller than the tibia, the main bone of the leg, and it's pretty easy to break with a, with a couple of nasty kicks. You see Little just staying, staying patient, waiting for his shots to develop, and you know Colton Ham kind of moving around just a little bit more and, and almost kind of uh, forcing him. And then you, the calf kick you just spoke of. Take your time, Colton. You can hear him say, take your time, Colton. Colton needs to settle down here and come under control. He's actually in a half guard right now. That's actually one of my favorite positions. You sit right down on that leg and keep your underhook and then pepper him with shots. So we're in a weird position here. So you, you see Little's head's actually on the outside of the ropes here. Mm -hmm. And uh, honestly, it's going to make it harder for Colton Ham here to, to land big shots because the ropes are going to be there to the block him. Sure. And then we talked about that earlier whenever we were t talking about the the, the so pros and cons of these if, ropes. If I'm, I'm little here, I'm just going to shrimp and shrimp right on out of the ring. You see Colton Ham doing exactly that, uh, sitting down on that leg. Remember now, last time he settled in this position, he was swept. He, he went for a ride. He got out of position. Little's out there having a good time. He's oh, talking he's to the fun. crowd. Oh, he's, he's getting up high there, getting up high there. And he's showing that he has great jujitsu, oh. attacking that arm bar Hammond. triangle series. Hammond is in, is in a and triangle slash arm bar. 
a minute 20 on the clock. We got time to work with this. It looks like Ham's kind of trying to, to sink his arm out and good defense his and circle out. that way. But I, I, I think it definitely just showed him that um, he's not going to be able to hang around in uh, Brandon Little's guard. He doesn't. He doesn't need to be right here. He, he's actually in a in a in a crossbody. You can see him reach through and grab his own leg. He has that arm threaded all the way through, almost to his own thigh there. That is a that's a that's a really good arm control. Brandon Little just kind of resting here in, in side control. And I have to say, he's very calm for this being his pro debut and coming in against a, a fighter with uh, six professional fights. Yeah, three. I mean, Colt Dam's three and three. He's, he's a good fighter. You see him working from, uh, from crossbody. I don't, I don't. I think I think uh, Ham just cut him. Yeah, he cut him right over his right yep, eye. Yeah, you see, there's a, a a small cut just above the the right corner of the eye, and, and now we're in in mount, but we got 10 seconds left, and uh, ooh, a beautiful right hand to the body by Colton. But you you see, uh, he, he, he's not really landing that many big shots. You know, he's not. He, he landed a couple, and and you seen the. Uh, Brandon hopped straight up, Just up with the, the elbow, cup. and he was able to kind of cinch that arm Very out of there. Very lucky. There's another little low calf kick by, by Ham. So if you're Ham, obviously you're going to want to keep throwing that. And uh, oh, he's he's he, he stung him just then. You see him blinking. Kind of a, a weird fake on the, it looked the like spinning he, back fist maybe there. Yeah, it looked like he faked the spinning, spinning back fist and then uh, Another tried low. to backhand him just like that. Brandon Little's landing some good shots when he's coming forward. And you, you see Colton Ham just kind of going back towards that low leg when he gets a chance. And Brandon Little now flicks his own little uh, low calf kick and then follows oh, up with nice a right strike hand. Right, right, uh, strike right. And I think Colton's going to look to kind of set up that uh, takedown and maybe get this fight back to the ground. That was almost like a little lead shovel punch. He's, oh, he's, nice he's, liver He's almost shot. putting too much on his punches, and when he misses, it's going to tire him out just a, a little too much. There's that oh, takedown. Nice. There's that, takedown. that was very nice. That was a nice little grapevine. You can see here Little has his left foot in as a butterfly, which you can use uh, from the bottom to kind of break your opponent's base, where it's much mm -hmm. harder to, to get energy on a punch. You see him using it to move Ham off top of him. Uh, he still has the butterfly hook, but he's, he's easily breaking Ham's base, so Ham can't put any power on those punches. They're, they're talking back and forth here. This, You hear uh, Colton Ham's corner saying, hey, drag him away from those ropes because he's popping his head outside those ropes where it's harder for him to uh, to land punches on Little's head. You see Ham now is kind of trying to turn him maybe and and uh, push his head away from the ropes. But uh, uh, remember, he did get swept pretty easily in that, that first round with uh, hanging out in the guard early on. He's, he's, getting, he's getting too high now. He's, he's really breaking contact with the mat. If uh, if Coltham really wanted to pass his guard, he would he would move his butt to his left, jam that heel up, and step over that leg. If, as long as he kept his left underhook, he would be able to pass the guard to the right. I, I feel like if he stays here long enough, uh, he Brandon Little is going to try to make over. him pay for it. Yeah, oh sure. There he goes again. You can see him now. He's now uh, Little closes his guard. But he's riding that guard real high. Ham's going to have to be careful of that guard running up there. You know, it's kind of reminiscing of Anderson Silva and Chael Sonnen when Chael Sonnen was on top and raining down Rain the punches, down punches. And then last second, Anderson Silva's able to get that quick triangle in there. Um, if Colton Ham's not careful, 
that's the the kind of position he keeps putting himself into. He's, he's, getting he's out. doing he's oh, doing that a was phenomenal a nice. job now, uh, controlling this guard and, and really not allowing Brandon Little to do much so far in the second round uh, in guard. You know what I have noticed is that uh, you know whenever he 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 got he got turned over, and it just just like just then he almost he almost got him turned a little bit. It's it's oh, there it there's is. a triangle again. Ham goes in a twister side control, drops some knees on his on his body. Looks like Ham maybe going for an arm over there. Yep, he's got a he's got a figure four grip. This is where I would like to see Colton Ham fight this fight. Is maybe in side control, half guard, and just uh, full mount. Grungy. Yes, there he let's is. let's fight these in in winnable positions, uh, not in guard. And now obviously he's doing phenomenal uh, with a minute left. Oh. oh, it's under the chin. It's under the chin. That is deep, you and there's 40 Brandon seconds Little. left. He's That's tapping. it. Well done. Colton Him locks up the finish with the rear naked choke. At 4 minutes, 21 seconds of the second round, referee Rocket vs. Dots Divide. You're a winner by a tap out with the rear naked choke. Colton Ham! What a great night of fights. It has been, I, there hasn't been a single fight that we have had tonight that was, that you would even say was even mediocre. I mean, every one of them were good fights. And you see uh, Colton Ham here kind of uh, taking the, the moment after a big win to drop down on a knee and, and ask uh, a woman to marry him. You gotta wonder if he took the L if this okay. would still happen. I don't I know. Mean, I mean, either way, you know, did it's you just, even. Did you just stop the question? Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, not only does he win in the ring, he wins outside of the ring. Colton popped the question and she said yes. Did he have All right, Colton. Did he, did he Put a long test on senior slide, my friend. <laughs> tough competitor right there, Brandon looks <laughs> skinny little. Oh, tough fight. How do you feel? Man, he come in and uh, challenged me mentally. I haven't had really nobody stand up with me and, and compete like that. So I, I've been working, and it's a testament to Brian and all these guys working with me every day, teaching me uh, the ground side of this. And as a pro, I'm developing, and I, I can't thank him enough for coming and challenging me. And, Changed me, and I had this in the back of my head. So tonight's been on the edge. You know, I love all you people. Thank you so much for showing up and supporting. I wish my opponent a safe trip home. Love you guys. Thank you so much. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give it up. Make the noise, Colton Ham. Yes, he's off the market. <laughs>